Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, iOS 15.5 Developer Beta 1 has been out for nearly a week as of the filming of this video. And as per usual, I like to come back and share with you guys my experience so far with the software. I also like to talk about the YouTube community polls, any bugs, and of course, the next beta. When can we expect iOS 15.5 Developer and Public Beta 2? So as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now the first thing I want to talk about is some minor bugs that many users on Reddit have reported in regards to iOS 15.5 and as well as my experience with some minor bugs with the software. And the first thing I want to talk about is notifications. It looks like some users are experiencing issues where notifications are sort of overlapping each other and there's a UI bug that doesn't look right. Many users have reported this over on Reddit. I'll link everything in the description down below. I haven't encountered this notification bug but i would like to hear from you have you encounter this overlapping of notifications on the lock screen okay i'd like to hear from you in those comments down below now one thing i did experience with the latest beta is shazam history so if you have the shazam extension under control center here usually you have your history listed right here now i've searched multiple songs in the history just fails to be populated in this particular section here again this is a bug something that is expected with beta software that's why it is beta software software but overall it looks like the software is performing relatively well those are minor bugs that i've encountered and other users have encountered as well now another minor issue that i've noticed so far is the reception issue so the cell connection issue isn't as persistent as it was with ios 15.4 unfortunately and i'm in the same area same studio same place and it looks like the actual cell connection in this region continues to sort of be sporadic and that wasn't this way for quite a while i'm not sure sure if it has to do anything specifically with my carrier or if everybody else is also experiencing all uh, those of you that are running 15.5 experiencing this issue now of course one way where i get some of the feedback from you guys is my youtube community posts and these are posted every time there's a new beta you can come over to my youtube community page and vote right now we have approximately 7600 votes now out of those 7600 votes a 21 percent of you guys are having a great experience with ios 15.5 a seven percent of you guys say it's okay but there's still some bugs a five percent of you guys say it's very very buggy and a whopping 66 percent of you guys are not running the latest beta and that's a good thing right beta software is only intended to be run on devices that are not going to be your daily devices because you know issues can occur and of course you want to make sure you don't run these on your everyday device now it looks like the consensus here in regards to some of these comments by the way you can always come back to some of these comments and read other users experiences here uh, most users are having great battery life great performance as you can see one of the most popular comments here also users with iphone 7 and 7 plus are experiencing great battery life on the latest ios 15.5 now i'm not running 15.5 on this device but it looks like many users have reported that here on my YouTube community poll. And again, you can come back to these YouTube community poll, read some of these comments as you can see right there. And uh, many users do express their concerns with some of the bugs and as well as uh, other devices that are doing relatively well with the latest OS. So there it is, 15.5 beta one overall is performing relatively well. Now in the battery department, I know you guys always ask and I never like to judge the battery on a beta software, but one thing I do want to point out and this has nothing to do specifically with iOS 15.5, my battery capacity has dropped to 99 it has begun now this is typical right obviously this iphone is a couple of months old now i got it on day one so it's what seven to eight months old now and uh yes yeah, dropped one percent in regards to everyday battery performance i cannot complain iphone 13 pro max has excellent battery life and other devices like the iphone 13 pro which i am testing are performing very very well with the latest 15.5 now last but not least when can we expect the next beta well if history is any indication and Apple is on a two weeks release schedule, which it looks so, we can expect another beta this upcoming week. So the week of the 18th, my money is on the 19th. And I did mention that it's been about a week since Apple released the beta. It's actually been about two weeks. Uh, excuse me for that at the beginning of the video. It's been two weeks approximately since the release of beta one and beta two will most likely be released this week on the week of the 18th. My money is on Tuesday, the 19th, but it could happen 
any day this week. Second bait, of course. Stay tuned to the channel for the latest iOS 15.5 coverage. Thank you for watching this quick follow-up update, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.